Hi, this is Weekly Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. Uh, well, here comes Monday, and it's September 8th, which is the last of our three um, super full moons that have been going on July, August, September. This is the last one. And at the same, and it's in Pisces, conjunct Chiron, uh, which is all about, to me, healing and feeling. <laughs> Pisces are very feeling, and Chiron is the planet of healing. So you've got that going on. And then in conjunction with that and superimposed over the top of it, there's the, um, you know, I, I call it the Pleiadian portal because I heard it on a Pleiadian channel, but it, it's really a universal portal that has been open for a week between September 3rd and the 9th. So we're at the same time as the full moon, we're closing out on this portal. And this portal was a um, an activation uh, in, in our hearts, in the deepest part of our hearts, of love and abundance, and uh, it has activated that in our DNA. And at the same time it's activated that in our DNA, it's had to um, uh, awaken and clear a lot of, let's call it DNA junk. So you've got that going on right now. In addition to this Thursday is 9-11, which is the 13th anniversary, of course, of the 9-11, famous 9-11 day in uh, 2001, and 13 is a very powerful number and often used in the cabal kind of uh, ritualistic stuff for events. So uh, it is also, though, <laughs> it is a number of Christ consciousness. You know, you have the 12 disciples and then number 13. So it's a powerfully good number. You get to choose whether <laughs> to make it a powerfully good number or not. Um, because it's it's all about you as the creator. So you, so you have that going on, in addition to with the big overlay of the uh, Uranus-Pluto Uranus square conjunction that's been going on since 2011, I believe, through 2015, which has a tremendous impact on stirring everything up and changing it. And we've all been feeling that for sure. So there's a lot of talk about an event that might happen on 9-11. Who knows? We'll see. Um but uh, there's a huge pull right now through the heart uh, that is, is creating this blissful oneness. I'm sure you've all uh, touched into it and experienced it. Well, at the same time, there's this tumultuous outer and sometimes inner landscape pushing up and out all the resistances of our um, DNA junk to, to transform and heal. Um, now, some people say DNA junk is the dormant strands that were disconnected from us and we're connecting them back. And there is a truth to that, but here, here's where I'm going with it. it. It turns out that our DNA is an amazing place, of course. And I, I just want you to be aware, it's really a, a cosmic or a, a, a divine storage device um, for consciousness. And in it is, is stored our starseed memories, you know, we're really not from here, and uh, all those memories are stored in our DNA. It also in store, uh, stores all our ancient cellular memory, everything that has ever happened to us as a unique individuated spark of God is stored there in the DNA. And ancestral DNA, which is our generational, our family, our bloodline, DNA is stored there. And then our familia, familia patterns of our family that we are born into and how we've reacted to them, that's all stored in there. So uh, when, you, when you do a search um, into your DNA, you're touching in, I call it your cosmic storage device. And those spectacular and amazing strands uh, have so much to offer when we can consciously use them. And even the subconscious programs can be very constructive, but they have also have an overlay of being dominated and controlled and tweaked <laughs> by forces other than our own consciousness and our own being in God. And so there's that overlay. And, and then there is, um, it, it, what, so what's going on now with this astrological, where I'm going, what's going on now with this astrological configuration is it's all poised to, have you feel that blissful oneness and the healing of, of the Pisces while at the same time intensifying the Chiron healing potentials and stirring up things that really don't belong there, things that as a divine being you don't want stored there 
subconscious patterns that you repeat, which Ezekiel often calls the shadow patterns. So all that's being stored up right now. So um, things are coming to the surface. Fortunately, it's no longer necessary as these things come up and, and they feel dramatic or uncomfortable. It's no longer necessary to do the big processing. I've told you this before. Ezekiel said for about three years now, no more processing. It's, it's about um, progress. And the progress that can be made here is simply to be with the feeling, allow it, move it through this new heart energy that's being gained this week and opened like a beautiful lotus, and allow it to be transformed into something that works for you instead of against you. In other words, you're reprogramming your DNA. Uh, you know, a lot of people say letting it go, letting it pass. Well, an energy is an energy. Use it. But see, you get to decide how you get to create with these uh, energies and with these feelings. So uh, that's a big picture I want to present with you now, all the opportunities. So while the turmoil boils up outside in the world, certainly, and inside you, um, just recognize it's really good. It's here to stir up that old junk. Remember, we talked about the fish tank. And stir it up, clear it out, clarify it, and reconnect any of the junk, because it's truly also clearing, connecting your cosmic and divine blueprints so that you can be conscious of them. They've always been there, but you haven't been able to reach them. So now with this new alignment, this portal, what's going on with the three super full moons, you can consciously and constructively work with reach, activate, clear, and cleanse your DNA and heal uh, without going back to the inner child and something your parents said and <clears throat> abuse and all the things that have happened. It's so much easier now uh, to clear them uh, vibrationally. Uh, they're doing the same with seeds now. They're restoring seeds to their original form with vibration, with frequency, uh, not by operations and 3D methods of tearing things apart to put them back together. So we had to go through that through the 80s and 90s and into 2000, but no longer. Now we have the much more advanced mastery and so it, because it's in your DNA who you really are so I'm asking you this week to be really conscious during the full moon uh, during the um, the portal the final two portal days as you energize all the possibilities of the anniversary of 9-11 uh, use it as a good potential and then of course we ride into um, the new moon and the equinox around the 19th 20th 21st uh, so you have a, a, a beautiful cycle here that's been opened by this portal, and I'm hoping everyone can take advantage of it. You know, I can feel the excitement uh, in, in every encounter that I have right now. I'm like this new person out there just feeling this, and so I'm attracting it as I'm feeling it, and there's so many magical, wonderful things happening. But then I'll have a round where I go in, and I get the feeling, and pretty instantly I have the understanding, and I can just use that then to create my, to attach myself to better patterns, to cosmic patterns. So that's what's going on now, and it's all in the realm of possibility. And here are the words that uh, Ezekiel gave me to say, to dare to allow myself to dream beyond the realm of possibility. And every time you do that, when you're in any kind of a clearing or bringing up this old junk, uh, that restores the vibration to the one of creation, which you are, of course, you're, you're the God creator. So please remember that. Um, dare to dream beyond, um, oh, wait, let me, let me get this right. I want to say it right. Oh, dare to dream beyond um, the possibilities way beyond the possibilities of anything you thought possible. That's true creation. So believe me, this is contagious. It's being mirrored back to us. It's a wonderful opportunity to take advantage of the cosmic alignments. So catch the magic and do that. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. Don't forget the free mini sessions. Uh, Egypt, Sedona, and the Spirit of Alaska crews all coming up. Have a great week. Bye-bye.